2,830 pounds. We just got in on all but new R Pod 179 rear kitchen model here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, if you'd like to see if it's in stock and available, give us a call or visit the link in the video description where you can see exactly what we're asking for because we publish that kind of information, including any specs we can get. Which means I can get all the specs because we were an RPOD dealer. Now I specify were. We're obviously not now, as that statement implies. Why? And the answer was not because it was bad quality. I, I don't, that was not the case at all. Actually, I was very happy with the performance we had of our R-Pods. We simply found greater success with other similar uh, types of campers from other brands. It's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these things. In fact, they're, I mean, obviously they're a trendsetter because everybody jumped on their bandwagon, if we're being honest, but business is business and you have to go with what works. Little detail stuff though, like they have the magnetic baggage latches here. That's uh, one of the things that they did that a lot of the others didn't. Um, they have a friction hinged entry door so the door doesn't slam open and shut in the wind. We'll let this roaring semi truck go past us here. He's got to get places obviously, I can't blame him for that. So we've got this very aero friendly design. It's also an extremely narrow body camper. These are only six and a half foot wide. Um, that makes them not even as wide as your vehicle. They're less wide than your vehicle. So they don't get wicked headwinds. The wind will whip right over it here, no problem. And also you've got a smooth front to back, one piece fiberglass suite. There is no rubberized roofing on this. The, actually, the top section of the roof is laminated and then this is fiberglass that bends around the skeleton work underneath. Um, this has a uh, four corner stabilizer jacks, which some of the knockoffs of these things don't have. Thankfully, I don't have to pedal any of that stuff in my uh, you know, other professional life here. Little detail stuff too, like this handy little quick jack system they have in there. It saves you from getting tennis elbow from just cranking the life out of that thing constantly. Little stuff like that, it adds up pretty quickly. Now, it's basically new, so the decals and everything look fantastic. You know, there's there's no big dents or anything here. Windows are UV tinted for, uh, it keeps the interior cooler and all the windows open for ventilation, which is really critical in a little camper like this. Now we've also got a low profile air conditioner. This has the same 13,500 BTU air conditioner as this big giant bunkhouse over there, but in this tiny little package. But they gave it a low pro AC so it doesn't stick up too far in the air. Now back here in the corner where you've got all your hookups, you've also got an outside utility shower. This is great for little campsite cleanups. It does have hot and cold water, so you can, if you've been in the lake, kayak it or something, you can get that smell off you. Actually, speaking of accessories, instead of a rear bumper, they actually have a, a, a class two receiver hitch on the back of this, which is a one inch receiver. Obviously, the in, initial intention is for a bike rack, or is for a spare tire, but they make bike racks that slot right into that. That was done by design to make this thing easier uh, to kind of work for the off the beaten path type people. Little solar power prep plug in the back corner, by the way. Now I've seen, obviously we carry other rear kitchens out here. There is one specific brand, I instantly, as soon as it came in, I said, oh, they screwed up and our pod didn't. And that is where in this rear kitchen model, they put this big window in the back. Now, thankfully the other brand that we still carry corrected that problem. But again, these guys, they know what they're doing. This is a sharp product. I definitely can't knock them. Now, this also includes the R dome, which is that big canopy awning that you can put on this thing. You'll see that all wrapped up on the bed. So this even included that extra little option and upgrade there. Pretty cool stuff. Stepping inside, big handle on a little camper like this is almost overkill, but hey, why not? Get it where you can. This is an above floor slide out. That means that this is carpetless and easy cleaning. This is also the largest slide of any of the uh, R-Pod family travel trailers. Uh, so normally you get like maybe a tiny kitchenette slide, but this is a pretty good sized dinette plus a fridge and microwave slide out. Come back to those in a minute. We've got good storage overhead, but notice that they strut that too so that you don't have to hold it open with your head. Oh, I'm a pretty tall guy. They put a normal six and a half foot interior height in here. It's got normal camper height. It's just less camper width. Um, the table, elliptical base, free floating. It can fold down into a sleeper or you can take it outside like a picnic and use this like a lounge, which is what we've had most of our customers report they end up doing anyway. Uh, we've got our uh, east-west bed up front here and a little camper like this. There's just not much more you can do. Big cross breeze windows though. And again, you see that um, 
that's the, the the bundle with the R dome, the awning in it. They added the TV option to this. So you've even got this handy little swing out TV that perfectly faces the dining where we have it now. And that goes in hand in hand with the AM FM CD DVD Bluetooth system that we have up there. This floor plan's always been one of my favorites too because it actually has dedicated hanging storage, which is uncommon in these little guys. But a little RPOD detail. Um, the, the hidden hinge cabinetry. It's just a nicer, like when it's closed, it's just got a sweet, streamlined, clean look. You've also got three of these big full extension drawers here, which is just extremely handy. Notice they're all plywood constructed too. Now the bathroom. This is the make or break thing for a lot of people in these, and I get that. And if this breaks for you, we have a lot of other campers at Halid RV that don't have this combination wet bath. Um, so you look at it, and you're like, oh, it's, it's a little closet. You can do the three S's, all at the same time. That's sit, shower, and shave. I have to really specify the one since I'm on the clock. Now, notice they're using the bigger vent fan in here, though. That's another little R-Pod touch that I really liked about these. And they purposely leave this door well slotted. Now, there's a shower curtain here, so you don't have to worry about somebody peeking over at you. But uh, the, the point of this is, right outside here, there's actually a switch. You can turn that fan on and leave the store closed and pull fresh air in through those headboard windows at night and get a nice six mile an hour breeze in here, which is a lot of breeze in this little camper. Um, flipping around, the rear kitchen really is the big draw to this specific floor plan here. And we're going to start right up here with this convection microwave oven. Um, you know, so you can get some big cooking done in a hurry. And below it, we actually have a three-way refrigerator, which is really uncommon. You get a lot of gas electrics, but not a 12-volt 110 and propane fridge. This is a three-way, so you can use this anywhere, everywhere, all the time, every time. We have thermal foil pressed membrane solid uh, surface-like countertops. Uh, they are waterproof, and that allowed them to recess the sink and give you some extra prep space. And look at that, a nice little stainless sink hiding away down in there. And it's all flush mount, it's easily used. You've got great cabinet space down below it. You've got a huge chunk of real estate down here to work with. And then you've got more drawers here. So you have dedicated like uh, linen storage drawers and then you have dedicated uh, kitchen drawers right here, all in one little spot. Uh, little appliance outlets here and here. Um, you know, I don't think, this is barely used, guys. Basically, oh yeah, that's right. Right when you walk in the door, we've, we've got a dedicated pantry and closet. All the original owner's manuals. Basically, this is like if somebody bought a brand new car, like a, like a small, sh like Ford Focus, basically. Put 2,000 miles on it, went, eh, I think I'm going to get a Taurus. That's what happened here. They traded up to something bigger, got away from this little guy. So you get something that's late model, low mile, can still qualify for same as new financing. Give our team here at Halet RV a call and we'll make that happen for you. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.